Hello everyone. You are welcome to Creativeness Platform today. Today I'm making a video on Krilone Fascinator. So it's like a crown. Somebody sent me a picture and I chose to just like respond to it. So that's it. I'll be using the uh, art wire. I'll be using the uh, Alice band and then I will also be using uh, the 6 inches uh, Krilone so I chose to like improvise my own way you know but uh, as I proceed with the video uh, I will show you how the first pattern which is the picture I will be posting now was just simply a sheet but I chose to do something else in my own so I will also be explaining what I did and how I was able to achieve the design that I have to you so let's just uh, start the work right away so I'll start by opening my art wire and then also taking the measurement that I would be uh, using. By the way, this art wire is the very, very flexible one. You know, we have the, the thick one. We have the one that is thick. And then we have the very light one. It's very, very flexible. So, so that you don't like struggle with the Alice band, you need the very flexible art wire. It's very easy to bend and uh, it has very little resistance, right? So what I will do is that I will just determine how high I want the crown to be. So this is the picture that was actually sent to me. Uh, I'm not doing this exact design. I just believe that what you need to know about this crown is how to fold the Krilone and also how to add the art wire to the Alice band. So for you to take the length of art wire that you will be using, you have to determine the height of the crown yourself. So it is how high you want it to go. That's the length of wire that you cut. I chose to cut out two separate art wires because I just want to add something uh, new to it. So I chose to work with two separate art wires. So the next thing I'll quickly do is to use a color that is uh, a fabric that is close to the color of the Krilone. To wrap the Alice band and also I'll use the same color to wrap the uh, art wire so I'll be wrapping the two art wires separately as well so this will enable it to like match the color of the of the Krilone so that's the reason I'm wrapping and also uh, it will add beauty to it as well so apart from the fact that it will match the Krilone it will also add beauty to the art wire you don't want to just work with your art wire like that so you need to like cover if you are not using a fabric to cover this art wire you can use trimming you can use trimming you can work with gold trimming silver trimming there is black and there are so and then you have um i think this way type of trimming too and it comes in different colors so you can also use it to like uh, wrap up the iron and you have a good result from it so quickly after wrapping the art wire it will be time for me to attach the art wire to the alice band so for me to do that i have to like move this uh art wire like an inch or 1.5 inches away 
from the edge of the alice band the reason i'm doing this is to uh, ensure that it will not be piercing uh, the head of my client so you have to like move it upwards with either one inch or 1.5 inches so when you do that you do that on both the left and the on the right side so it will also help you to get your your height so that distance is very important so that it will not have the chance of piercing the head you know because the wire can sometimes be funny so you just have to like and then i use needle and thread to tie it properly after which i added hot glue to it to help me uh, stick it to the position i want it to be and also help me to like separate it open it up like this because i need it to open up for my pattern to be complete so right now i am done doing that just add hot glue allow the hot glue to like cool down and then the hot wire will be in position then we can now go ahead and uh work on the creloni so for me to work on the creloni i'll be cutting out six inches of creloni depending on what you want to do so the number of creloni you will work with is a thing of choice you can work with 20 30 depending on what you want but i worked with 18 18 pieces or 17 pieces so i did not work with up to 20 so it's a thing of choice like i said so what you do to close it and make it look like a leaf a leaf is that you apply your glue to the edge eh? the both edges and then you close it this is the edge i'm closing now is the part where i cut the creloni so you know that part can easily pull up and loosen but once you add this hot glue or you can use your uhu glue to hold it down it will no longer lose and then you will get that sharp uh, teeth that you are looking for and that will be all so this is just how that particular pattern i showed you in the picture was achieved if you have it like this you can as well use your iron to iron it down so that it will be flat so when you iron it will be very flat it will not be looking this um, uh, what, what's the right word now bulky no no so you iron it hmm? but for me I, I did not work with i did not stop at this pattern so what i did was i glued all the 17 or 18 pieces of trelawney i have like this i glue it up like this so after gluing it up like this i simply took it to my weaving machine and that is what i want to show to you now that is the interlock machine so i took it to the interlock machine and then place it and weave now when you weave the way i'm weaving now the interlock machine will cut off some part of this creloni and you don't want that to happen you understand so for it not to cut off the creloni and you need to weave it because one when you weave it it will make the leaf to become flat at least you can just see what i did now it's flat but what i'll be doing is that i'll be doing my weaving on both sides and because i don't want my interlock machine to cut any part of my creloni out i'm going to remove the blade from the interlock machine it's very easy to remove the blade yeah just use your screwdriver and you can remove it without any help so you just remove the blade and after that you just use the interlock machine to like uh interlock your creloni on both sides yeah on both sides so i uh, quickly i believe the rest part of this video is something you can watch that's the blade you can watch and understand so after weaving it on both sides i'll still need to work on it again and that's because uh the candle gum would not allow the uh edges to be smooth so 
when I'm done, I'll still use my needle and thread to tack the edges down as well. And that will get it finally ready. After which, I'll be attaching it to the uh, headband that I've already prepared using needle and thread. I showed you how I used hot glue. It takes time and I don't really trust it. So I used needle and thread combined with hot glue. Is that okay? Okay, this is just a quick one. If you are stopping by Creative Events platform for the first time, I hope you love what you are seeing. And also, I want to like, uh, I want to encourage you to subscribe to Creative Events platform today. And also, do not forget to hit on that uh, notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like I said before, the rest part of this video is something that you can watch and understand. So for now, from my end, it will be bye. It will be bye from me. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to drop your comment, questions on the comment section. I will respond to you the moment I see them. So bye.